When you go to a site such as Elance or Guru to hire a freelancer, look at the other job postings that are listed there. You'll discover that most people aren't very clear about what they're looking for. Don't make this mistake. To find the best people, you need to be very clear and concise about what you want. The best freelancers aren't going to waste their time on somebody who doesn't know what they want. The job description is your opportunity to find the best people while filtering out those who are inexperienced. Give the impression that you're in control, a little firm, and serious. Don't be humorous or clever. In the next slide, I'm going to show you a job description I recently posted. Important: Please read the entire post before applying. I am seeking a manual, drip-feed social bookmarking expert for my project. You'll be required to target a list of 25 sites per page. Examples include Reddit, BuzzFeed, and similar sites. I have a high volume business, so a quick turnaround is essential. Open communication also is a must. You will be required to communicate frequently with the PMB and be willing to discuss and share your methods in detail. No personal payments, and payments won't be cleared until the work is approved. I generally require test packages prior to hiring. Please use the words stone pony in the header field of your reply so I can be sure you have read this entire description. The code word is just something to help me weed out the people who respond to every job posting. You don't need to use it, but if you do, make sure that you don't put it in caps or use quotation marks. The point is to see who's paying attention and who isn't. If you get 20 responses, you can often weed out more than half that don't follow your specific instructions. Look for people who can provide you with the skills you need. Ignore everything else. I know a lot of website owners who won't hire people from countries like Nigeria or Russia because they have a reputation of having a lot of fraud. The truth is that there are good and bad people everywhere. You should judge people on their own merits and their ability to do the job, not where they come from or other unrelated factors. Besides, language skills aren't a priority for things like web design or link building. Weed out everybody who fails to follow your instructions to the letter. It doesn't matter how highly recommended they are. It's often difficult to verify feedback anyway. With online freelancers, you generally don't have time to go back and check people's references. But on the upside, you can always go back and get another one if one doesn't work out. The number one way to find the best people is to talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, either on the phone, through video conferencing, or even through email. I ask a lot of questions, including such things as what type of software they use, how long they expect the job to take, how many other jobs will they be doing at the same time. Get rid of anybody who gives you an evasive answer or doesn't connect with you. You want to be able to see what they have accomplished in the past and what they're capable of doing for you. Don't expect them to try out for you by providing free samples of their work, especially if they are experienced. There's usually not enough money at stake to make it worth their time. Hire them for a smaller job and see how it goes. If you're happy with the results, they met your deadline, they were professional and reasonable, give them something more complicated. That way, you don't have to risk a lot of money on someone who may not work out. The most important thing is to be very clear about what you want. Many of the people you'll be dealing with aren't coming from the same background as you. Some live in third world countries or don't have much education. It's a mistake to expect them to understand local idioms or get the gist of what you're trying to tell them. Be specific and give examples. Set them up for success, not failure, and you both will benefit from the experience. I hope you enjoy what you learned today. Check back weekly for updated videos and lessons. Or better yet, click the subscribe button below to get more of these educational videos as they come out.